to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. <laughs> James. What? I need some water. I need to hydrate. What happened? What'd you do? Fifth of July. Fifth, <laughs> fifth of July is what happened. Classic fifth of July. Oof. I, there's a reason why fourth of July should be on a weekend. As, oh, as, yes. as we've discussed, love Fourth of July. Sure. Right? It's one of my, it's one of my favorite holidays. We go real hard. Right. And every time you do, you always forget about that fifth of July hangover or oh. whatever happened, right? Sure. And the best way to sum it up, and I hate to keep referencing this movie, but I really do enjoy it, is Bradley Cooper drunk and a star is born. And last night when I came home, mm-hmm. and we'll get to what happened last night. Sure. I fast forwarded through because it's on HBO. I fast forwarded through it to see the scene where he sings Shallow with Lady Gaga. Mm-hmm. Because there's so much. That's, that's how you feel at the, the, the peak 4th of July moment, right? Right. He's on stage smiling, laughing, Ooh, loving sweating. It. The right amount of shots. Yes. They haven't totally kicked in yet. You bet. He, you, find, you find your girl, you know, you got sure. your, your lady, oh. you know, and you're like, oh, man, this is as good as it gets. Right. I and, wasn't with you last night. Uh, no, you were. You were early on, right? Uh, before, early on. before you left, because we'll early get on. to the dark part of this. So I, and I, I look for the time code and it's right about 40 minutes in, right? Sure. That this happens, they sing the song. And then the rest of it, after that song is over, is the rest of that movie is how you feel on the 5th of July. <laughs> oh, yeah. And like the peeing his pants on stage <laughs> and not being able to like and get then it up, yourself. Yeah. keep it up, oh. and then you kill yeah. yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. 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 And that's, that's kind of how you feel on the 5th of July. As I came home last night, and you're like, why, why are you fast-forwarding through this movie to see this one? I really wanted to document where it all, your exact feeling of 4th of July, the happiest moment, and then where it all goes wrong. Sure. And uh, it's right around that 40-minute mark. Okay, like. good. Good to know. And it's all 5th of July after that. 4th of July up to 40 minutes in, 5th of July after that. Here's how I played it. Worked, made some food, hung out a little bit, respectable style. Yes. Couple of glasses of wine, you guys know, is enough yeah. for me. Um, and so tonight is my 4th. Yeah, we have a babysitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. And everyone else is going to be in a 5th of July mode. And I'm going to be the one that's like, come on, guys. It's the 4th. It's the 4th weekend. You yeah. guys are be like, dude, I just want fucking pizza and I want to go home. It's like, like those I people who party on January 1st. You're like, hey, man, we went hey, real hard last no night. No one wants to see your fucking face today. Like everyone's going to be <laughs> really pissed off at me and annoyed, right? You're like, oh, what, would you go for a run? Fucking loser, right? It yeah. just makes you mad yeah. that someone is like spry, right? Sure. I feel you're mad at me right now. But, you know, <laughs> that's all. That's what I have to do. I can't start drinking until after five. People get mad at me for that. No, I can't. I can't drink James. until the weekend. So it's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nobody's mad about that. No one's mad. But I do get, like I said, lots of shit so, around the pool or even today. It's like, all right, cool. I'm coming with with beer and wine. I'm like, awesome. Have fun with that until five o'clock. I can't even take a sip yeah uh what happened last night was running a little bit late our children were in the the fourth of july made it just in time we really barely did the the that was a hard sprint you don't want to 
you didn't want to be there anymore before that. For that prep? But yeah, for okay. the prep and standing outside and parents well, being like, was, are we doing this or what? And yeah, then they luckily go it was late. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they were all out on their bikes and then it's the parents that are like, don't really party that much and they're all ready to go and they're like, uh, okay guys, I mean, is someone going to say something or? Yeah, yeah, And yeah, we're yeah, all yeah. inside already drinking. Yeah. Red, like, we're like, are we bag in the parade? I don't know, you know? This is, this is the second year in it. What I love is... There's a guy with uh, like a boombox or mm-hmm. what are those speakers? It's sort of like a Bluetooth, yeah. little Bluetooth. One of those Bluetooth speakers, mm-hmm. right? And he's holding it up Indian in one man. hand. Indian and, man. And then in the other hand, he's holding a pole with a, the American flag on Big it. Big one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we do the... It was beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. You do the hand over the heart. You listen to the thing. All of then... us. It was so, it was so white. T- t- I totally. can't even... Totally. But it was a nice gesture by that guy. And, no, it was and great. By but we were else. all just like on the bike. We the, did the parade. The golf cart parade. Kids go the- crazy afterwards. There was like 50, 60 kids going nuts um, at the pool. And then here's what happens. Then the night turns to, I'm done with my children. It's my night. Right. Like, I don't care what they do. Yeah. I don't care where they are. Like, I've watched them really closely. And these are the same parents that are like, where's, the, where's my kid? Yep. Where's my kid? Yeah. Up until 10 or 11. And then it's like, I don't know where he is. Man, I walked home. Yeah. I heard a He's woman. He's old enough. I heard a woman last night. One of the, the kids were inside of a, a clubhouse and watching like a Netflix, watching a movie. Okay. You know? All the adults were outside drinking, all that stuff. Sure. One of the kids just barely cracked the door. And I just heard one woman scream out who you were talking about. Shut the fucking door, Timmy. Love you know, it. like that's Love we're, we're all done like with your shit tonight. She had switched to like, who yes. hurt you? Who yeah, pushed you? Yeah, exactly. Who pushed you to, to like get the fuck out of here? Pushed him on the ground. Yeah. Do not bother mommy. <laughs> right. So. Uh, and then here's what happens. Right. So there inevitably there's always two or three people. Sure. who are like, let's do shots. Let's do shots. It's the same people that can do shots. And I'm jealous, I guess. But. There's no way that they're feeling good the next day. There's just no way. No. They cannot be bionic moms. And like, I, I'm sorry. I think you got a text from somebody of like, Ross just took off. I Irish goodbye everybody all the time. Because I don't, I don't want to get into, if I do it for two reasons. Come on. I, don't, I do it for two exact reasons. Um, one, I don't want to ruin everybody else's night and then make people leave that don't want to leave. Where mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, all right, Ross is leaving. Now I'm going to take off too. Like, no, if everybody else is partying, I don't want to ruin their evening, right? Uh, And then two, I want to save myself from getting into like the 90th shot of tequila with somebody where I'm just like, man, I I know what that next day entails, you know? But uh, it was fun regardless. We had had another lovely fourth and your dish is crushed, Jabes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gone. You're one of the best cooks on the planet. Thank you. Yeah. You Thank made some, you. some, uh, it was a 4th of f- July cake. Cookie cake pizza with a cream cheese and cool whip frosting yeah. and fruit. Living your best life. It was you more it. for the reveal. I was telling someone it's more for the entrance oh, than yeah. the actual eating. So I actually don't any, want anyone to cut into it and eat it. I just want them to look at it and be like, oh, who made that? Oh, that's right? the, by the way, so I carried it in. That's exactly what happened. And then there you was, can just kind of throw it in the trash. There was three was women who crispy, stopped yeah. and were just like, oh, my God, who made who that? Who made that? Yeah, that's all I want. And, and I was like, my wife did. I don't want them to taste it, but yeah. yeah. Um, and then the, the classic Jap dip. Yeah. Jalapeno Love the jalapeno dip. dip. <laughs> anyway, that was gone in two seconds. I didn't even get a bite, but. Thank you very much uh, for that compliment. Um, well, look, we we so we were obviously we live in in Wilmington, North Carolina. The boys, now. Did, the boys did it right though, didn't they? They crushed it. It was. I saw it was like, a little story of some some ladies, some bruisers. Yeah. So good for them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Talking about our, our children or other people. Oh, I'm talking about the single guys in town, uh, D'Anthony. Justin, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Swing on over to Drinking Bros Podcast. Uh, we let those uh, t- this afternoon those, and- those little ding, swing and dinglings go out by yeah. themselves for the fourth because <laughs> nobody wants parents 
you know, tagging along on the We had a full family day and nights and all that stuff. So, yeah, uh, again, we'll we'll hit the town with them tonight. I'm curious to see when they roll into the studio this afternoon. What kind of What kind of shape they're going to be in. They're going to be fifth. They're going to be fifth of July, I feel. And that's fine. Again, they're going to hate me. Because I'm like, guys, what are we going to do tonight? Yeah. It's Friday. We're good. I will say this, though. It is Friday. So it's not like, you know. It's a Sunday night. So if they whatever. don't want to party, I can find someone else that will. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people out partying. That had to work on the 4th or something. Yeah. There has to be. So uh, there's that. But uh, we're also in Wilmington, North Carolina, not in L.A. anymore. And holy shit, there's a good chance that, that state might fall into the ocean. California. Yes. They had another earthquake today. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard about that in the morning. In Los Angeles, so there was a 6.4 the day before. And where, where was that up? It was like Mojave Desert. In the so Mojave it Desert. It didn't, my dad said it didn't really affect anybody. There's nothing out there. So mm-hmm. my family in Bakersfield sort of felt it a little bit. Yes, I have family in Bakersfield. You Oof. heard that right. Oof. Spent many a Thanksgiving there. Not to brag. Um, but they kind of were like, well, it was the longest like they said, it kind of lasted long, the longest they've felt in a really, really long time. But yeah, I mean, it, look, a 6.4 really is, is no joke. The 5.4 in L.A. is no joke. And that was at like 4 in the morning for those guys this morning. So uh, I, I don't know. Everybody's saying the, the big one's coming. But shit, if it does, I don't know how that city survives, to be honest with you. The big one? If a big one came, like remember that San Francisco one in... 89 during the World Series. I would look, I was a kid. I was obviously nowhere near California. San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco okay, when the okay, bridge okay. collapsed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. So nightmare, personal I nightmare. I can't imagine that happening in Los Angeles because that was, I think, a 6.9. If that did happen in. Uh, and bridges came down and shit like that. Oof, yeah. In done, LA? Done, done. Man, I, I, I don't know how that city. The length of time it would take for that city to recover would be monumental yeah so i mean everyone i know is fine like i said like yeah. it wasn't yeah, yeah and you know there's pictures of the swimming pools kind of looking like swaying waves in them yeah. and stuff and other than that i didn't hear about yeah but because what they're saying right now is there's an unusual number of aftershocks that are going on right now right and they're trying to figure it out uh the it's other a thing weird that- feeling I, I realize that there's not a lot of people that have felt an earthquake. An yeah. earthquake, unless you have lived in California. It's a, yeah, it's a weird feeling. Um, it is weird. It's really strange. But, but anyway. they, and they have this thing called Shake Alert uh, on your phone. We had it for like flash flooding and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It, it did not work last night. So people. Cool, 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 were, cool. cool. Uh, <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> what do you want to say? Technology is just not Amen. there, brother. Amen. So they didn't know. People didn't know and they weren't alerted to it they just woke up to it and who boss again that's how it always was we never had shake alerts so whatever yeah your shake alert was the person next to you wake up we're having a fucking earthquake yeah <laughs> wake up let's go outside yeah that's my shake alert <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> Who am I? Yeah, who am I doing? I don't know. Uh, who? Well, you're ready to go out tonight. I can tell that. You got a little fire. I got a in little your belly. pep. Yeah, in your step. You're ready to go out tonight. You know what makes what fuels my fire is What's people that? hungover not with me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like that makes me like when Dan comes in and be like, "Hey, buddy!" Like it's in true. his face. Yeah. yeah. And he's going to be so pissed and just sort of like, yeah. and that will give me life. the energy and life. I will feed off of your guys's hangovers. Yeah. No, I'm, and you'll I'm, be kind of like. I'm fine. What, what zapped me yesterday was the humidity. Sure. Where. I think it's a combo, but yeah. You go, well, you're going in and out because you're, look, with two kids and you're, you're racing around trying to find where they are and make sure they're safe and they're on the water slide and that's a fun thing. Sure. But it's not like dads can just hop on. With them, you I know, and you're like, right, cool. and I did mom. too, and yeah. it was a little too much. <laughs> was you know? it was a like, bit much? It's kind of like, mm, hey, bro. Like, I know we're all. Because yeah. he kept going down the water slide with children. I was like, dude, I Which I one get was it. it? I, I don't know. It was a bigger dude. Oh, okay. Whatever, it wasn't man. our. Okay, 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 okay. And I was just like, hey, man, it's all children, and you're, you know, 
you're acting as if this is for you. You should probably get right. The fuck He's like on knocking out there, kids Holmes. out of the way. My turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, all right, cool. Talking to his wife, Suze. You're Suze. not giving me a turn. Suze. He pushed me. So I, just going in and out of that heat where you're just like, ah, all right, cool. And then the food, because that food coma kicks in on top of it where, yeah. you know, everybody brings a dish and you want to try it just to see what it is. And, you know, obviously you choose wrong a couple of times. Sure. You never know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what's in the pasta salad, what the base is until you really get in there. So then you, you have something terrible in your mouth. You got you to you pop keep, on back yeah. to get that out of your gullet. And uh, yeah, so I, I feel fine. So like I'm, I'm good to go for tonight. What you reckon? Now, these aren't nice dinner type of guys, so I really don't know. Blue post? I don't know. We'll, fi- we'll find out. We'll figure it out tonight. We'll figure it out. I'd be a little too insider for the audience unless you live here. You know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> They're at I home sometimes going, hey, just bro, like, I don't know your, your local watering hole. I sometimes just go like, yeah, can you pick up? Actually, I have a, like a grocery list for you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We are on camera. <laughs> what do you mean? Where are we Subscribe going? Nobody on fucking YouTube. cares. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How was your flight? Who Sorry. fucking cares? Do I have gas in the car? You know, we should probably get some gas before we go. Uh, what time you? What what time you reckon? Yeah. No. Sorry. That was dumb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was not interesting. Not at all. Not at all, James. Not at all. <laughs> Blue Post is where. Vince Vaughn and Buscemi and somebody else went arrested. A- arrested for some kind of stabbing incident. Vince Vaughn, I, I know the real story. He hit on somebody's girlfriend. And, and then the guy either like, pulled hey, out a knife or threatened. So it's not too insider. I mean, you know who Vince Vaughn is, right? Yeah. Yeah. He got uh, some people. Somebody got stabbed. He was in on his girlfriend. He got arrested there. Yeah. Uh, breaking news. This is nice for the 5th of July. Uh, jobs numbers. Jobs reports. Who is that little gal? A little, a little gal peeking around. Come on in, Brooke. Come Hi. on in. Come on and sit on, on, hopper on down. Uh, come around the back of this thing. What up? Oh, she looks we, camera ready. Yeah, she looks I, camera ready. I wish we had another just joking, mic. Just I wish we had another <laughs> mic hooked up. We could get her on. We, we could get her on. We were uh, just talking about. We're, um, yeah, we're live. We're, we're talking the, about the 4th of July. 4th of July. I tell July. you what, Brooke, sli- grab that chair over there and then slide her on in. And then you guys can share it real quick. I just, we'll ask her a couple questions about last oh, night. Okay, okay. Of where this went. Um, we, we've got, Don't worry, nobody watches this show, Brooke. We've got one of our beef fries, uh, Brooke, from the neighborhood who popped into the show. Yeah, yeah. She's camera ready. She's camera ready. Uh, here, here it is. There, right, you can talk into this microphone. Hi. Hi. No, I mean, put your face in it. Oh, Lord. There yeah. you go. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Lord. There you go. Wasn't expecting this. We were, we were before. <laughs> yeah, I know. No one ever is. This is a nightmare. <laughs> you walk in to be like, oh, I'm just hanging out with hang my out. friend. And they're like, cool. Come on. So how hard did people, we were just talking about this. How hard did people go last night? It was bad. I mean, there was how, adults on the. Yeah, Slide, right? push it up. Oh yeah, push it up yeah, to your mouth. Definitely. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, keg stands. A lot That's of right. A lot of like karaoke in that are not. But that's <laughs> good right. For kids. So this is a great. This is a great point. There was people forty plus doing keg stands last night, and I mean, really going for it. But it was my fault. It was I'm your like, fault. Um, I didn't. I didn't do any. But I'm like, I got you, bro. I'm you your, you were raising people your above leg. your head yeah. last night. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. But you did go, you went to LSU, right? No, I'm just from there. You're just, yeah, you're just from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And that's part of your whole shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because that down there, it's disgusting, right? Party wise? We just know how to party. We just know how to party. Yeah. Yeah. But you're, I mean, it's gross. Yeah. 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 But you're used to like the, yeah, the dirty outdoor partying and things like that. Yeah. But it's all I know. So you, there was a man, I'm not going to say who it was, but he was over 200 pounds and you, you had lifted him half of his body up above his head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dead. Brooke did, and then she she looks over at me and she goes, "Grab the other leg, bro." And I was like, oh, no. "Cool, man. Uh, we'll do." People were trying to come and help me. I'm like, You're like "I got this. I'm good. We're yeah, good." Yeah, oh yeah. God, and, and one after another, and I think they felt bad because this tiny little girl right. is lifting all these dudes up. Oh, so every dude felt obligated to do it. Yeah. 
and it, it was great. It was awesome. How late did you stay last night? Oh, like 12. Huh? 12. For, it wasn't too for, bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's not terrible. Mm -mm. I mean, I, my kids were awake till then. Yes. So I, I, I Irish goodbye out of there at like 11. Yeah. 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 Once that tequila came out and then people started firing down shots, I was yeah. like, man, this is going to turn out bad. I was bad. pouring mine in that lady's cup. I was pouring half mine in hers and pretending like I was a boss. She got out of control last night. <laughs> uh, she, was, she was the one who told, Timmy, get the fuck back in the house. This is mom's night. Uh -huh. Ah, there it is. We, we, look, we won't say any names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because this goes out to like 1.6 million she's listeners. Awesome. It's fine. Yeah, she's, she's rad. Awesome. But she, yeah. like, there was a point in the night where she had had it and said, turn to these my, little kids and said, get the dance? fuck back in the house. Do you remember my dance? No, I don't. The dance that was, yeah, never mind. I'll tell you later. <laughs> never mind. The dance that was. The, yeah. Heard around the world? Mm. Yeah, mm. no, I, I don't remember that dance. Mm. But you, okay. you guys were going for it last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We definitely were. Yeah. And the beauty and I like. I told her, I'm like, it's going to be super chill night. Like, I'm going to be home by like eight. Not a prayer. Yeah. Not a prayer. Michael's like, it's my cue. I'm out. Yeah. But that's the best when it, it, you don't plan it to be. Talk over there. Jesse, share it. That's the best when it, you don't plan it to be like crazy. And it just, it's so fun that you don't want to leave. If you plan for it to be like a late night, you'll usually be disappointed, right? Yeah. It's only when you're like, I have to go home. I can't do this. All right, I'll stay. And for parents. And it's awesome. And yeah, and parents, like, look, midnight for parents doing shots is a lot, especially when you got kids. Yeah. And, unless uh, you're so from that, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, unless, exactly. <laughs> you it's just a normal day. You look right as rain. Yeah, you're yeah. fine today. Yeah, I'm you're, good. You're absolutely fine today. I'm good. Yeah. Um, and then we had the guy who was terrible at karaoke last night. <laughs> <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Because there's a lot of people that love to sing, and then, and then it's just, there's always one person who's horrible at karaoke, and you're like, man, you've got to stop singing. Ashley said that should be my next gig. Like, I should start karaoke. <laughs> She's like, I got videos of you doing genuine. I'm like, please. That's right. Read that video. My God. You know, it. white women come out to genuine my pony. Once that came on, I was just like, well, oh, no. there goes the night. <laughs> Jump on it, my pony. Yeah. I got some of you, too. Oh, I'm sure. Lots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. uh, people just kept yeah. dishing the mic around. I was like, all right, cool. What do we got here? Great. Let's do it. And I'm pretty it. sure I was singing. Genuine. Like, I was, like, coming up to you, like, making you, like, sing, too. Oh, yeah. You, made, every, you made everybody sing there last night. Um, yeah. And I mean, there was, there I'm was, not going to be the only one on Instagram. No, no. Of course not. And it was about, I would say, what, 14, 15 people left at that point? And everybody yeah, gave it a, so. a shot at yeah. one point. Uh, yeah. the, the, older, the older woman. Um, she wouldn't sing in the mic. She just wanted us to play her songs. Yes. She wouldn't sing in the mic. But and her, I'm like, S -s here, she's going to like drop it. She, the, the hilarious thing about her was like, I, look, to, for the audience at home, it's probably a white lady who's, would you say late 40s maybe, early 50s? Totally 30s. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Still celebrating that 30, 39. Uh, yeah. What, yeah. Whatever her age is, the music she chose for karaoke and listening to was, was shocking. She was going mob deep, shook ones, and I was like, "Hey, that's not at Remember all what I, I expected she was out of you." Sicko mode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no. Yeah. That's, mm -mm. It was really funny, yeah. uh, and I enjoyed it. Either way, uh, I, we appreciate you coming yeah, in, stopping on by. Disgusting Justin's coming in uh, here in a little Can't bit. Can't wait so. to meet him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, and thanks for raging with us last Ooh, night. Oh, anytime, you got, you anytime. Yeah. Girl, I stop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. See? There's, so there's beer in the fridge and there's liquor out there. I think she got her. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> BYOB. See? We got some Coors Light out there too in the fridge. Uh, Louisiana. Doing it classy, doing it right, doing it tight. Speaking of doing it classy, we got some sponsors. Uh, who pay for this show to be on the air. Surprising. I can't believe they're still here. First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Man, how do I... Ooh, that Every was a time weird I do noise. that. Oh, yeah, with these age factors. It's just like, oops. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is the finest mattress in all of the lands. Comfortable, safe, dependable, and they're still killing you with those 4th of July deals. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a nice mattress. If you're military or first responder, you get 15% off forever. Scroll to the bottom of the page 
enjoy it. If you're a regular human like ourselves, uh, their 4th of July deals are through the roof. And I think they've got that Wheel of Fortune up, Jabes, where you can just spin it and get an extra free thing. I love a fun little gimmick, I have to say. So do I. I fall for all of them. They, look. They, but this one is, you know, we have people in our neighborhood. I'm going to get, I'm going to get Brooke on the train, on the ghost bed On the bed ghost train. bed train, yeah. So we're slowly going house by house and getting everybody on the ghost bed train. Yeah. Because it really is the best. And Justin said, I know he was, I felt that he was serious. He was, He was yeah. like, I do not sleep. He sleeps on the ground. I sleep on the ground and I don't <laughs> sleep very well. And he was like, and I'm not even fucking with you. And my dad said the same thing. I'm not like fucking with you. This bed, when I laid down on it, slept all night. Amazing. Yeah. So, so go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. As always, 36 months, no interest. Pay as you go program. No one is doing that on the interwebs. Currently today, I feel. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Uh, four amazing flavors. Orange, original, make America grape again, and lemon. Tasty tiny little tin pouch full of freedom. Rip it open, squeeze it into any liquid available. It lasts long, longer than five-hour energy. And uh, you can just put it in your pocket. Kick the can. You don't need it anymore. Ten-pack, 40-pack, 750 milliliter bottles. I was drinking the shit out of it yesterday to stay alert and awake. And it for my children. Work. And it worked. No, it worked. It was great. You came home and passed out yes. in front of a Star is Born. Well, I had to. I told you I get Bradley Cooper drunk. Star is Born on 4th of July. It's my, one pee. of my favorite holidays next to Columbus Day. P down um, the leg. Oh, yeah, exactly. Can you imagine? <sighs> Tell me something, girl. I think that's what I said to you when I got home last night. Yeah, and you just like, yeah. as you were peeing. Peed out my legs, slept in my own jeans. I accepted yeah. your Grammy. And I was like, how night. was it hanging with the kids? Yeah. I was like, great. She's great. Yeah. Uh, Where either, is he? either or, if you got kids out there and you're drinking, put a little Strike Force in that drink. It'll keep your beepers open. Go to strikeforceenergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Um, they also have a subscription of the month uh, club, which is the best. We've had it for, fuck, man, I think close to four years now. God damn it. We've been doing shit with them for four years. Uh, amazing. They um, believed in us. We believe in them. We believe in them. Freedom. Get uh, no carbs and sugars at strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. That, that works all the time. Last but not least, this is what you came for. Gordon Wagner, this is for you. He was on the live yesterday. Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, oh you racket! <laughs> oh, man, I could tell you were you were pulling back the. No, I was seeing if you had the, the headphones on, the, on still. On that that chain. I don't like to blow people's ears out. But, but if they want to wanna do it, that's do. up to them. That's Sometimes up to them. You do. Uh, Straightrazors.com. Clean cut for for a man. Anything you need to be a, a clean real man in this life. A clean also, man. Also, again, really want to point out, it is great if you were a pregnant woman no. trying to shave your bush after the second trimester. Every time you say that, I don't. We have to say that we don't condone doing that. Nah, we do. We you do. Can't and we don't see anyone yeah. who's pregnant knows you cannot. You can't even see down there. If you get a smaller, so if you baby, have a sharp razor, yep. straight razor down there. It's not going to be use good. a mirror, but it's more for. Being a clean man, a groomed man, which you all yeah. should be a little bit. So I would say, because people ask me all the time about straightrazors.com, what's, what's amazing about them? Our aftershave is amazing. Uh, the straight razors are second to none. And uh, I would say it's 80% for men, 20% for pregnant women with, with uh, bushes. So. Okay, and we can't, I can't say to do that. Now, every time you say it, now, you every time you say you, it, I have can. to say, I have to do the disclaimer. Yeah, so you, you can't, but I can. And that's, that's really where I hop on over. Um, and I love this, like, and, people popping in yeah. to the studio. Why Who not? was it yesterday? Uh, the Drinking Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had, we, was it had, Rhino Mike yeah, came in? Yeah. That was a big one. Bunch of people popping in. Uh, and then you should pop on over to straightrazors.com, promo code uh, REVOLUTION, 20% off. Big savings there. Last but not least, thank you for my service. Uh, book I got to write with my beef fry, Matt Best. Up until July 5th, or July 15th, today's July 5th, um, he is signing all of the copies of Thank You For My Service on thankyformyservice.com. Uh, so go there and do it. And those numbers in hardback count towards the New York Times Best 
when seller is the list. signature deadline? June, June, uh, July fifteenth. July fifteenth. Yes, you got about ten days left. Ten days left. Uh, before before Brooke came in, we we're talking about uh, breaking news. Job numbers came in. Boom, explosion, dude. Papa Trump. It, this is now an official record of of the most employed in the history of our country. Um, that's unbelievable. He in his term, he's sixty seven records broken for jobs. I don't remember everybody working like this to the point where you're just like, Jesus Christ, man. Uh, that's crazy. Right. That's crazy. We were dealing with a, depends. Yeah. a property down uh, towards the beach area. And we were, people were like, yo, man, there's, we don't have enough workers to physically build on that lot. And I was like, motherfucker. Because everyone's super busy. That's, that is true. As far as building, I've seen it's uh, everywhere. go up. They're even putting in like a uh, spectrum paint down there. Closer, which means that people are building. Yeah, so way whenever too you, much that they whenever like, you see uh, paint stores go up, and I've seen like two of them. If you see those go up in your area, it means people are building shit. Because let's face it, you're not just popping up a paint store uh, just to get weird on a Saturday night with your sure, buddies, you know? Sure. Maybe try a little reverse cowboy. Like just you're not like redo the bathroom with your boys. Yeah, and then all of a sudden reverse cowboy happens, and I you're know, like, whoops, whoops, yeah. It turns into that tent scene. We were just back. remodeling our bathroom and it just fell in. And then it felt right. I'm sorry. I've got turquoise all over my ding dong. Turquoise? Uh, yeah, yeah. The paint. The paints. Gosh, I'm sorry. W- what were you thinking of, Javes? I was just, I was just trying to follow the gay um, I, well, I don't know why. Yeah, no, I was just trying. I couldn't sure. quite get it right. I don't know why you were stuck in some. So I watched all of Stranger Things 3. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Well, because so, you were out, and so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just popped it on on and just... Yeah, just I watched the whole thing while you were gone. Through. I'm super Woo! stoked about it, by the way. You should be. It's great. <laughs> and you can watch it by yourself. No, I do have a separate account for me to do stuff like that. <laughs> I do. Do you know they're like Jesse, and then it's b I'm yeah, giving yeah, all yeah. the secrets. You said it was your grandmother's account. No, or, yeah. that's for me to watch all the stuff and then go... To either mine or yours and be like, oh, let's watch it. I don't know. Is that a thing now? People are creating separate Netflix accounts outside of their spouse? I don't know if it's a thing, but it should be spouse. because it's working. <laughs> I did do that with one thing and it was, it was dead to me, but I don't think you wanted to watch that. You know, we've gotten a lot of messages from listeners saying, hey, that show is rad. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it'd be awesome. Like, you should pop it on. And I told you on air that I only watched one. You lied. You watched the entire season. The whole thing in one night <laughs> on, that, on the secret account. How, how, how was it? Is it good? It was good, but I don't know. And it was crazy, but it felt very female to me. Like it felt. Well, two chicks are leads. So. Two chicks are leads, but it also felt very much like girl power stuff, which sometimes can also be fun to watch. Like Big Little Lies is six leads, six women leads, but it doesn't feel like the same yeah no, I, power I, I know what you're type saying. of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. so i love i loved it but i didn't know and again i just need to check out the whole season and just make sure that it wasn't for you sure 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 and so it isn't for you yeah i mean look. it was really good though and uh the amount of messages that i get that i look like christina applegate from that coming out are fun okay uh, I, I'll give you this one. So I'll give you this show and let you have it w- with, the, with the new studio opening um, and the, the media company and all that shit. Like I haven't watched. I, I feel like I haven't watched anything. Um, and it's all just kind of passing me by where it's just a, a breeze. So you're, I, I'm fine on that one. Stranger Things I actually want to watch. You so. should. Again, it's so good. <laughs> so I'm in, I'm in for that one. You know I didn't have any time to do that. When no. did it come out? I think yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yeah. it came out yesterday. No. I'm like, oh, the baby's getting up. And then I watch all of it. All of it. Yeah. Oh, me, 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 Which it was. Me, 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 me. The baby was scared of fireworks like a fucking dog. Yeah. I was like, dude. You should have put like, some of those uh, gigantic baby. headphones that you see those babies wear at concerts. I almost gave them just one little drop of CBD. Oh, just a tiny. Uh. Just calm him down, yeah. you know? No, I didn't. Have you tried CBD? <laughs> I did. I went in there and I was like, hey, baby. Baby. Have you thought about CBD? And he was just like crying, <laughs> didn't respond or say anything to me, which was rude. No, I understand that. I understand all that. But yeah, so that was my night. And I did text all the ladies. And say, it was, uh, it's not my year. No. But next year, right, Brooke? 
Is she it, told me that yesterday. She was like, next year. It'll be your year next year. To party? I have a, yeah, I have a, a child under one. You know what I mean? So it's like, I could have, if he slept, maybe partied. But that morning yeah. routine? No, nah, it's too much. Not I, sweet. I understand it. So, uh, yeah. More breaking news. Kevin Spacey accuser just dropped his lawsuit against him. Uh, that kid who got... Did he get paid the dude or what who got happened? groped in the bar. I don't know. I mean, look, he was accusing him for rubbing his dick inside of a bar, right? And making yeah. out with him for like... Giving was, him drinks. But it was over like, f- I think, between a five and eight minute span. And mm-hmm. you're in public. The kid mm-hmm. is over 18 years mm-hmm. old. I, don't, I didn't understand it. And it was his mom that was... Yes. Was running the whole you know, campaign. So it's kind of like, is this kid fucking cool with this? Like his mom fucking speaking for him this whole time. Like I, it just felt really weird. It's, it seems strange to me. And, and I know Spacey's uh, into younger dudes and that's not fucking cool. If they're under, not at all uh, under 18 know, under age. That's, this one case though was, was always weird to me. So the civil suit has been dropped. Um, but I guess the DA is still going to try to move forward with the, with a criminal charge, or but I don't know how you you can at this point after him dropping that suit. So um, strange, strange. Yeah, I don't know if money changed hands in this one, where it was like, "Hey, man, let's back alley some shit." Because I think that was going to be the case, though it probably would have happened sooner, don't you think? Because if Spacey wanted to get rid of it that way, maybe he has money to do that. In all the lawsuits I've been in, the shit usually drags out a couple years, and then you get into a fucking I would like negotiation. To think- I would like to think that the evidence and everything just wasn't there and they knew they were going to be in for some bullshit back and forth. Right. I mean, I, we've been there. I think so. But where I, it's like, look, you have to just realize then why not drop not the not criminal gonna... charge unless it's coming, you know, unless they're saying, Hey, the criminal charge, once it gets into the DA's hands that you can't really say like, Hey, can you not do that anymore? Yeah. It's not really the time to do it. It's before that. So it, at this point, it's sort of out of their hands. So here, here was the, the message from, uh, from the DA. Any settlement could not be conditioned on a refusal to cooperate with the prosecution. Nevertheless, money is a great motivator for an individual not to follow through with their suit. So there's, there's a, look, there's a bunch of possible reasons, but Spacey could have said, hey, man. Because to my knowledge, this is the only one that he's facing right now. Mm-hmm. So he could, he could have slid him some cash and said, hey, man. Let's, let's get the fuck over this and, and move on. Because he certainly has it. He certainly got the money. And that's the kind of suit that it seemed like to me. Where it was like, I think it got out of hand. Because they were like, oh, well, Spacey touched my dick in a bar for one second. Right. Spacey? Yeah. Spacey? I'm Space. talking to you. Yep. Right? And he's like, nope. And just like hid out in Baltimore. And was like out with the like giving pizza to the paparazzi. Yeah. And they're like, Spacey? Hey, we're going to tell we're going to touch my dick for a second. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that that's just what it was. And it was in Nantucket, you know? So look, I'm sure a few older gentlemen like that get a little handsy with some dudes up in Nantucket. And the other thing is, does he go out there a lot to Nantucket? I'm sure it was a place. It was, it was a bar that he frequent. If you're and the rich, guy, you do go to you Nantucket do, a lot. And everyone knew. If you saw Spacey in person ever, which we have, you know that he's, yeah. that's his deal, right? It's his whole jam. It's sort of like the open secret of, of Spacey, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, you're yeah. just like, all right, if you're 18 or younger, yeah. cl- steer clear of old creepy Spacey. Yep. In the Nantucket bar, like he's had a couple too, too many. Yeah. Those were the days when you could just be like, just steer clear of the creepy guy. Let's leave him alone, but just steer clear, right? Yeah, 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 can't yeah. be like that anymore. No, Gotta take him down. You can't. Uh, and to follow up on our story about yesterday, you know, not doing well at the box office, uh, Spider-Man came out. The 90th fucking Spider-Man came out. And, and uh, did amazing. Yeah, sure. destroyed. Sure. I think, I think this is pretty much it now at this point. The Aladdin, it says here Aladdin just crossed 900 million worldwide. Will Smith got on Instagram yesterday and was like dude i just want to thank you it's the highest grossing movie of my career and i was like shit out of all the things that he's done i would have said independence day or or bad boys or this is this was aladdin is it like box offices like back then i mean did they reach 900 million no because the off off 
the, the overseas accounts weren't as big as they yeah. used to be, but so it now is they are. Technically the China's biggest. open, so yeah. yeah, technically it is. Not but that it's his biggest movie, but as far as box office, it's just they're bigger now. With with this, um, this is all the rage now, and this is what Disney's going to keep doing. So they're they're just making all of their cartoon movies into live action movies. Lion King's coming out next. Um, they they're in the middle of casting for The Little Mermaid right now. Oh yeah, I'm. I hear Zendaya. It wasn't. It the... wasn't Zendaya. So she didn't end up getting it. Um, you know who got it? Yes, and it's a. It, it's a strange name, uh, because her name. What's that? Yeah, her, her name is uh, Haley Berry, and a lot of people were confused because they were like, it's "Beyonce's what?" Yeah, Artists? it's one of Beyonce's peeps. Oh, peeps. Yeah, and uh, her name is Haley Berry. And people were confused. They were like, well, wait, Halle Berry is going to play the Little Mermaid. That's a Halle little Berry, older. Little Mermaid. So would I. I was actually amped about that. And then I looked and I was like, wait, oh, Halle Berry. Um, okay. This one's caused a lot of controversy because no one is happy with any of these. Any of the picks? Yeah. So the first pick was Melissa McCarthy for Ursula. Right. People were pissed. It should have been a, a drag queen, like transgender, they wanted for that role because that's what it is. I'm not completely wrong, but okay. It's a fucking I mean, cartoon. It's a goddamn right. cartoon, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and everybody's actors, you're pretending to do other shit. All right, all right, Don't all right. Don't care. I'm just saying, I mean, that would be kind of awesome to see. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the next well, thing. Well, M- Melissa McCarthy, does anything she does is amazing, but yeah. Yeah. The next thing is that uh, The Little Mermaid has is, is been cast black. Right. And people are... Some people are pissed about that online of like, no, the cartoon character was white. Again, it's, it's a, a fish. Cartoon. And it's also a fish in a cartoon. Well, it's a mermaid. So why do we care? Yeah, it's a half fish. Just, half fish, half lady. That's a no. fish. She's more fish, I would say. The fish comes up to her tits. He called the mermaid a fish. Yeah. What would you, guys, you, what would you call I'm her? I'm going to go. What would you call her? A mermaid. Yeah. What is mermaid a mermaid? Or mermaid or merman. It's just their own species. Nope. You wouldn't say fish, nah, half fish. Not at all. Half, half lady, fish, half lady. Half fish, half lady is what it is. The little half fish, half lady is what they should call it. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that roll off the tongue? Well, you've got to have a name Oh, the little half fish, it. half lady. It's kind of like a centaur. It's half man, half horse, right? Yeah, you describe what it is. A mermaid is half lady, half fish. I don't think you can fuck it. So... You've seen Splash, right? I mean, yeah, but did they? The documentary did Tom Splash? Hanks ever bone? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. How did she switch out of the fish tail? Didn't really. What? She gets in. How'd she switch out? She gets in when she got dry. Yeah. When so, she got dried up, she turned into a lady. But she couldn't be dry for too long, and she would have to like keep getting into bathtubs and stuff. So he'd have to have sex. He had sex with her really quick, and then threw her back in the bathtub. Yeah. Oh God, that's a lot of work. Or you, or you have to work. get blown underwater, like for it was the, a lot the of work, but that was the ro- romantic part of it. Yep, yep. Uh, either way, half lady, half fish. So I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play this game anymore. Uh, so I'm sad. not gonna play the game too of of pretending what what color the characters should be for a cartoon for a made up for a made up <laughs> thing <laughs> that is a half fish, drawn. half lady. Sure. Not gonna go down that road. Don't really care. My point to all of it is this is going to continue to happen for all of this shit. Because if you're going to just keep remaking all this stuff, that's fine. I think now with everybody saying, I want more women and things. I want my, more diversity and all this other shit. All of these are going to change. So they're all going to be reimagined. All these cartoons are going to be remade. And that's what it's going to be. So if you're going to get pissed about this, congratulations. You're going you're gonna to have a long life ahead of you. Right. Because this is going to keep popping up. And uh, you're not going to be stoked about it. People weren't stoked with Will Smith playing the genie, remember? Yeah, they gave him a bunch of shit, and now they're like, oh, my God. $900 million later, They just need to have cares. their little freak out, and then they'll watch it and love it. Oof. So. I, Oof. It just, it, it works for that. It doesn't work for comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, and I saw a post by uh, Seth Rogen the other day. It was just like, uh, look, we're, we physically get to watch comedy die right in front of us right now during this period in our life. Somebody wrote something about the president of like, oh, this is the fall of whatever. And he goes, well, we're, we're watching comedy fall in front of our face right now, too. So uh, comedy is the one thing that's not carrying over in this shit. Right. So well, eh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, fireworks. Jabes, you didn't get to see him last night. I didn't. I got to hear him. Oh, you did. How yeah. were they? Gorgeous. How, it, was the sound majestic. nice for you? Oh, 
It was it. I could feel it. I could feel the majesticness of it. Very Sandlot, you know? It was. Wasn't last night just a whole Sandlot evening for you? It was, yeah. yeah. Just kids running around. It was fun, you know? Uh, they, had, they had their little girlfriends and things like that. And Ooh. Yeah, fun time for Watch all the way around. Out. Watch out. Well, yeah, well, he's five. It's, let's, I'm going to relax. Out. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relax a little bit. But uh, what I look forward to is everybody's pictures of their fireworks, mm-hmm. wherever they were. In videos, grainy, shitty, um, mm-hmm. just a, a that's what I really love, and that's why I didn't blur. watch it because that's how I like to experience the fireworks. <laughs> and I just go through everybody's story and I go, Oh, it's like I was there, yeah, it's like you were there, but you weren't there. Fireworks never turn out well on Instagram or any photo whatsoever. So I don't, what's the fucking, what's the big deal about that? Because we're all trying for that one photo, you know, like if you have a telephoto lens and like amazing camera. Of yeah, like, you're, you're able you know, to get it. A little bit of a silhouette of you and then the thing, no. right? It's a drunk. That's what everyone's trying to get. <laughs> it's a drunk, and it just shaky turns, hand yeah. on portrait mode. You're like, oh, Some kid on, portrait's going to work better than this on one. On their dad's shoulders in front of you. You're just like. Y- yeah. Yeah, that's exactly so what it is. So great, though. That's how I like to consume. Every one of my friends who posted their fireworks pictures, like, I just breezed on through. I'm just like, I can't. Oh, no. And I, didn't I even rewatch. Like them. I re- and I rewatch. I refuse to like their post, too, for that. I just, you just showed Smart. me a, a shitty ball of light behind you that could have been anything a meteor landing, um, you know, the, your fucking street light going mm-hmm. out. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. I don't even like the pictures at yeah. all. Sorry. I don't know why people need to do that because it's sort of like, you know, it's not going to turn out well. And what are you saying to the world? I was at the fireworks. Cool. Yeah. But it is sort of the thing where like you can't, it didn't really happen unless you video it. Right. So it's that mentality. So it's like, I'm watching this and it's awesome, but is it really happening if I don't, do you know what I mean? Sure. Show everyone. Yeah. And that's just a little peek into how I feel about Well, look, that's media, the one but... thing you can't take a picture of. So just stop fucking trying. Yeah. Stop. Or sunsets, too. Like, eh, sometimes I can get it. Some t- if the sweet. sun's already set. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Don't show me, like, the sun peeking over because it's just going to be a bright, weird ball. But, yeah. like, the sky, colors of sky. Sure, I'll give you a like-see. I- <laughs> you thought I'll throw a like your way. You know, I'm very you, discerning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't like, like anything. I'll, if you I don't like, like it, shit. I just pass right by. Yeah. I'm an Instagram lurker, which I've realized that I am. So I'm like a voyeur. Like, I don't like there's some people that probably forget that I even exist, exist, that they followed me or that I followed them. And I see them every day. Right. <laughs> but I don't like because I'm like, oh, it's been too long. And now it's going to be weird that I like that one photo. So then I'm just kind of creeping through their shit. Yeah. I like everybody's shit. And therefore, I know, like t- this morning, I w- then I woke up. They're like, I don't, Ross didn't like my firework photo. Oh. No, I didn't. It was, so you like to like everything. Shit. So when you like don't everything like across something, the board, yeah. it really gets into their mind. Digs d- down deep inside where they're like, man, Ross usually likes all my shit. What was it? It was the fucking firework And then they're going to think bro. about that all day. Like, fuck. Yeah. What was it? It was the firework pick, bro. Was it that it was a firework pick? Was it not good enough? Was I, it like, and it, that, that's going to happen all day, I'm right? In, I'm ingrained in there. I'm living in a one bedroom, no AC, all inside right. their minds. Well, 5th of July. 5th of July is up. No fireworks tonight. There was a, a massive, uh, obviously, the DC fireworks. You ever been to that? DC fireworks? Yeah. You ever been to the Washington, DC? It's, it's pretty cool, actually, if you, if you, you know, get to go. You know, it was there, Brianna, my sister. Oh, really? With Colby Calais. Oh. What's, what was her song again? Bubble, bubbles? <laughs> nope. all, the, all the bubbles yep. in the world? No, not a, not a You know Colby Calais. Yeah. Come on. Isn't she has all the like cute smile. summer. Yeah, yeah, she's great. You like hear her in CBS all the time. Yes. Yeah. She's awesome. And it like makes you happy. Yeah, exactly. She, she's rad. Was she singing last night at the Trump event? Yeah. Oh, she was. She's like has some new band that. Is That's like great. Folky, it, yeah. Dude, it was packed last night. And it was crazy. Trump's teleprompter went out last night, which. Fireworks. Oh, boy. Fireworks. Some would say that was better than the real fireworks. Sure. Uh, look, we love Papa Trump, obviously, but uh, he's not the right person for the fireworks. I mean, for the, uh, the teleprompter for, to go no. out. No. That, that caused the real fireworks. Uh, he went 
way oh sure a little bit off sure, off sure, the sure, beaten sure, path sure, sure, sure. and said uh he was amped about uh, the 1775 revolutionary army who took over the airports couple hundred years off from uh, planes being actually invented mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i like that he went off script oh, and yeah. tried to kept kept it going you know here's with the confidence of a <laughs> child on a fucking slip and slide i, I keep thinking that would happen to you what? If a, if like, let's say you were in a position of power where you'd use, use a teleprompter every day. Here we have you, go. Have what you would happen? One? A have teleprompter? You? No. Okay. So if you, if you use one. You've known me for a long time. Like, why are you asking me if I've gone to the D.C. fireworks and if I've used a teleprompter? I didn't know if your parents took you as a kid. So my parents took me as a kid. That's how I got, I got to go. I've only been once. And so I went as a child. That's the difference between our parents. But go ahead. I know. Mine, mine showed love. And thanks for that. Yours... So what We're would happen? What do, you, what do you think would happen if the teleprompter went out? That's what I'm trying to guess. Where your mind would go if a prompter went out and you were giving a speech in front of thousands? I would just be honest about it. <laughs> well, I'd be like, you guys, the teleprompter went out. What should I, what do you want to do? <laughs> should got, we chop it? Should we chop it up? Should we talk? It takes I want to take questions. <laughs> Can I take questions from, no. the, from the audience? They're too far away from you. I'll just be like, what was that year? <laughs> the year that somebody they took over gosh that would be me yeah yeah that's why i don't do that kind of stuff i know it's, I don't it's tough man i was in front of i was at an event i i want to say i think it was the mtv movie awards and the the prompter was slow so everybody was kind of waiting for the next line and mm -hmm. it went on for two hours i was so uncomfortable with it i had yeah. to, i had to walk out at like 40 minutes Mm. Like 40 minutes left. I was like, I, it's pe seeing people struggle with a teleprompter is fucking brutal. Yeah, I can't imagine because it looked like there was a soft estimate of half a million people. And your, your prompter crowd goes. Work. That's the thing. I would just do some crowd work. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where are you from? Hey, Steve? Yeah. you two look cute. Yeah. What is that you a new later? relationship? <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. You're fired. Like, yeah. like that would have gone over well, mm. I think. But you're, you're live on national TV around the world. Your prompter goes out. You got to go off script. That's first brutal. First P. Go down to your. First P and yep. then sweat under mm -hmm. the boob and then crowd work. That's what okay. I would Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sweat under the boob, pee down your leg, mm -hmm. and then you go to and crowd work. And then I work. go straight to the crowd work, kind of riffing. Sure. Riffing on people. Yeah. Their hair. They're like their girlfriends that they're with. <laughs> How long have they known each other? Just fun stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I would say apple milkshake, obviously, you know, just because that's where. Just to get the got night going. Yeah, you got to get all of that out. Um, again, into your pants, apple, boom, and then milkshake splatter. And then uh, I look, I'd start talking about um, the monument because I think you're facing the. The Washington Monument or Abraham Lincoln uh -huh. or something. Yeah. So <laughs> hey everybody, why don't you turn around to old Link? Uh, let's give him a hand for what right. he did back uh, for freeing, uh, doing stuff with Poon slavery hound. and everything, abolishing. Let's Poon turn around hound. for Lincoln yeah. and really, and then, you know, kind of just try to ride that out mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of the time. I didn't get to see it live, but there's a bunch of like wild qu quotes on oh Twitter gosh, this I morning. Love it so much. <laughs> What a personal nightmare. You know, at least 10, 15 people got fired this morning or oh, late yes. last night over that. Oh, yes. That gap. Their 5th of July is real sweet. Oh, no, yeah. Their 5th of July is uh, they're not going not gonna, to not gonna be here anymore. Um, they're they're out of out of work, which uh, eh, is a little sad. But look, you can't fuck up a prompter like that. Not for the president of the United States. Right. You know? On the fourth, a half a million people there. Man, you want to talk about a hot, sweaty time it is. There is oh, no God, place yeah. on God's earth that is hotter than Washington, D.C. On the, on the fourth of July. Holy shit. Even as a child, I remember just like, I, that was when my mom got aggressive of like, get off me. Right. Quit. Quit hanging on me. It's too hot for you to be right. hanging on me as a child, you know? Right, right. Pounding waters, seeing monuments, sweating. I think it was the first time I saw uh, Ford's Theater. You know I'm a gigantic Ford's Theater fan. Huge. Yeah. Every, Huge. every time I can work that into a show. You really do. I try to. Mm -hmm. I try to. So, 
uh, that's that's as a, as a youth. That's where I uh, I really got to see all the the lay of the loo of of DC. And after that, I was pretty good with it. Like, not really need to go back. Every time we go back, it's always like, whew, the traffic and all that other stuff. The Stones played the night before too. The night before he. Yeah, the, the they played on July third. Third, okay. Yeah, in DC. So everybody who was there was just like, dude, you want to talk about traffic? Like, for get it that was like the end all be all of like the traffic amalgamation of hell where you're just like oh we're all combined here and we're living in this gridlock absolutely yeah uh let's get to the uh revolutionary figure of i'd the like day. to give it nope. to jeff <laughs> karaoke jeff now did he have the was he cat cat shorts no no that's someone no. else that's someone else jeff yeah Karaoke Good job, last night. buddy. You really uh, <laughs> commanded the mic, I hear. Belted out your songs. Didn't get the mic taken from you ever. Good it, for you. Hold on to that mic, Here's Jeff. the thing. We were all drinking, and uh, some people, you know. When you told me how really Ashley was sing. pulling the mic away, it made me a little sad. So, Jeff, I love your spirit. <laughs> I love your... You know, patriotism and um, And happy fourth to you. You're haberdashery. And you're revolutionary. Yeah. You probably made that karaoke time happen, right, Jeff? Yeah. Jeff pulled, Jeff really was pushing for it? It might have been his microphone. It might have been his Revolutionary. Is that not? Yeah. Because the the new jam, by the way, with it is, you can just play off of Apple Music and then sing along. And it kind of sounds like a low backing track. But uh, yeah. Um. Uh, right. No, the revolution figure today is going out to G Dubs, obviously George Washington. Oh, okay. Um, no, this is actually a, a, a story. He's probably never karaoke. No, George Washington never karaoke. Yeah, and hey, Matt, Dumb. you have to get a full band though. Dumb. Oh my gosh, that. <laughs> what are you going to get? Nine flautists out there to I karaoke just, with? Yeah. Yeah, with, with all three songs that were written back then. Fla- oh, flautist. Yeah, okay. it's a flautist, Jesse. That's kind of like a taquito, the flauta. Yeah, yeah, no. no okay. it's, a, it's a flute player. Um, again, uh, a flautist is a flute player, not I was just wondering not why you wanted a anywhere. bunch of taquitos out there yeah, for no, George no. Washington. No need for taquitos out on the old uh, okay, well, Potomac. Fifth of July is my day. So. It is. It's your night. It's your night. But uh, San Francisco is going to spend... $600,000 to paint over historical artwork at a public school depicting the life of George Washington. Um, because he's, uh, this president is now being uh, criticized for being racist and degrading um, for his depiction was, of black but... and uh, Native American people. So what, what, year did, what, what year did he come over? When was that, 1776? Yep, everybody knows yep. that. Yeah, so. yeah. Probably, me, probably hopped on over. A everyone here, we all know. A couple that years that's before that. What it was. It's an 83 year old mural. I mean, I, look, are we really just painting over George Washington yeah, these days? Goodbye, history. And if you get pissed about it at this point, he's the only reason white and black people are over here right now. Because he came across from uh, England or we wherever. We do not fact check, but yeah, that sounds. Never, never have. Right. But. It, like, that's the only reason, like, hey, if we didn't get independence from Britain, we'd all be a bunch of teabagging SOBs right now, wouldn't we? We'd be getting taxed the shit out of. Um, so I think we should, we should celebrate Washington, not, not paint over his body like that. But if you're doing it, I hope it's in a nice turquoise. Yep. You know? Just like the bathroom remodel yeah. with your buddy. Just do it with a bunch of, like, if you're going to, in San Francisco... Big gay community, boom! Take some turquoise out there if you're because you you have to now. They're they're paying six hundred grand to do this. Take some turquoise out to G Dubs, mm-hmm. paint over them. Maybe take a little, just one can for yourself. I don't think the government's going to notice. Bring that home, and then paint yourselves, and then go reverse cowboy there. All right. Yeah. Well, happy fourth. I am excited <laughs> to go out tonight on the fifth of July. You're ready. What's your what's your song tonight? What? What's your What's your Fifth of July song tonight? My Fifth of July song. Yeah, that is I'm there gonna a song you're make... going to be waiting for tonight? Brooks was genuine. My pony. Um, probably "Lump" by Presidents of the United States of America. Lump. Lump. 
She's lump. She's lump. She's in my head. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the worst song of all time. <laughs> I was like trying to think of the worst song in my mind. And I was like, why is lump coming up? Yeah. But who said yeah. it? Uh, the presidents of the United States. Uh, George Washington went into office April 30th, 1789. Thank same. you, Jamie. Same I appreciate as what that. We, same as what we said. So I was pretty close. Everyone on that. was right. He, he did the revolutionary we were right. war thing. We so. were right. Jamie was right. Jamie, Everyone, we're, all, we're all everyone's all right. Right. It's you know but what? Thank we, you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know what the you know what the mistake was. You bet, you betcha. Yeah. yeah, and we're not a history show. Here's you know, what happened, people. Fun... Our teleprompters went out, yeah. so we had to go off the cuff. And so he had to write that down. Yep. But yeah, and yep. I think we handled it well. I think we handled it with with pride and dignity, and um, I'm really proud of everything. To everybody out there who uh, painted themselves up last night in a little turquoise and went reverse cowboy, I'm proud of you. Jabes, it's your night tonight. We do whatever you want. You pick the restaurant. You pick the bars. It's, it's, it's your night tonight. Okay. It's your night tonight. Uh, we're going to lead us out of here with uh, uh, a little Lump. genuine My Pony. Genuine. Okay, for Brooke. For in Brooke. honor Thanks of our surprise coming, guests. So on the audio show... We're going to put Genuine's My Pony. As soon as it kicks in, that... Uh, really going to feel... Uh, 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 you know exactly uh, what song it is. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, we'll stick that at the end. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. Ow, 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 ow.